Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam! It's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's got to stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Hmm, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nope, nothing back here. Aha! All right, cookies. Your dinner spoiling days are over. But Jim and Sam is on his way. Potatoes. <laughs> All right, cookies. I know you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, that tickle. <laughs> Where are you taking me? What? Sam. <clears throat> well, um, thanks everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. 
It's almost my dinner time and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli? <gasps> You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Fa la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. Ah, another box top. Bonbons! I like those. My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. Come in handy. I got the key. I think maybe I deserve a reward. pyramid as quickly as possible. I'm supposed to be at the peace conference with the other delegates. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. You're a real hero. See you later. Gee. Those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. Another box top! General, no! Oh. Hi, Carrot. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Mop Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Here's what's going down. 
The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The fats and sweets group has taken over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. You got that right. So, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate, and they're supposed to all get together here at the pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here, and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody, or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war. No, General, no. The conference is still on. Another box top. Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble, or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Fiend 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? Huggers and a sweets just marched through the headlands! War, I tell you! No, General, wait! Boy, I better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can! must be the peace conference, right? Yes, that's right. It's nice to see you again, Sam. Ah, gee. A box top. Another box top. Water looks kind of cold to go swimming. Hey, a big donut! And it's a swing! Hi, I'm Sprinkle. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were. I mean, I should have asked. That's okay, I love to swing. What else would I be doing tied to a tree like this? That's a good point. <laughs> Whoop! Oh my! It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today.
water looks kind of cold to go swimming. Why don't you come in for a swim, Tad? The water's lovely. I don't want to get too wet before dinner. But maybe you could give me a ride. Sure. Hop on. Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. Wow, what a log jam. And it's all french fries. Hello? Hello, french fry. I'm not a french fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you are. Pin. Do you like french fries? I love french fry. Especially with ketchup. Mmm, ketchup. That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with ketchup on them. Then there's no stopping me. Hey, I like them with ketchup, too. Ha, <laughs> you're a young man of good taste. <gasps> Boy, this is great. Look at all these different sauces. Yes, it's a condiment tree. Ew, horseradish. This stuff is too strong for me. Oh boy, ketchup. Ketchup is good on everything. This ketchup might come in handy. Another box top. I hope I can find 20. Pajama Sam! Are you one of the delegates for the peace conference? But yes, I am Pierre Le Pin of the Breads and Grains Group. Can you get down from there? Alas, no, I am trapped. The Ferris wheel, she has no power. The exercise machine on the beach furnishes the power, but no one seems to be exercising, and so she does not move. <laughs> hmm, well, I'll think of something. Thank you. For the peace conference to be deprived of Pierre? This is not good. Here's another box stop. can do this. Say, those are nice. 
<laughs> Darn these laces, they're always coming undone. Here, kid, hold these for me, would you? I'd be happy to. Whoops. Um. Whoops. There's the bell. We're done, girls. Peak tanning hours are over. Bye-bye, boys. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. Oh. Darn. I hope they come back tomorrow. But it'll be done till then. Work out some more. What else? Yeah. All right. Kesukusei, the wee returns. I am severed. Um, help? Courage, mon ami. You must grab onto the wheel. Ah, excellent! Now we are both severed, and I can continue on to the Conference of Peace. Say, what happened to my... Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I needed a new career anyhow. Hmm, perhaps you can start the taxi service. I need to go to the food pyramid. Can you take me there? Sure, hop in. Au revoir, my pajama friend. Au revoir. Well, that's one down, three to go. But seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha, 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 plop, plop, plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny. Bring back the other guy. Don't you get it? Orange, breath, plop, plop, plop? Plop this, wise guy. Very funny. But hey, tell me, what do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. How about a nice hand for Mickey Hollandaise, folks? Mickey Hollandaise in his great big floppy shoes! <laughs> All right, folks, check this out. It'll knock you right out of your seat. Knock, knock. Who's there? Omelette. Omelette who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandaise is. <laughs> yeah, this is my kind of crowd. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Artie Joe. A box top. <laughs> yeah, I got a knock knock. Who's there? Jerry. Say, is it all right if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. I am. Um, I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Did I stink? Well... I knew it. Oh, I am awful. No, I wouldn't say that. All right. 
Celery, garnish, good for one free etiquette lesson. Hmm. Well, it's free. Ooh, etiquette lessons. What is etiquette anyway? It's like being polite when you talk, setting the table properly, that kind of stuff. Oh. Come on. Here's another box top. I hope I can find 20. Hi, I'm Sam. I have a coupon for a free etiquette lesson. So you do, young man, so you do. Come right in. Table manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. Are we okay so far? Um, I guess so. Good. Now a few words about place setting. The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left. Salad fork. Seafood fork. And steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife. Seafood knife. Soup spoon. Cocktail weenie poker, swizzle stick, and mashy niblick. The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. supposed to be going to the peace conference? Yes, but everybody is on strike, so I'm stuck up here. A box top. Well, I'm the foreman here at the factory, and all the workers have gone on strike. It's a big mess. Oh. Why are your workers striking? I don't have the faintest idea. They've given me a bunch of crazy demands, but I think it must really be something simple. What are those papers? This is all stuff relating to the demands of the factory workers who are striking. As foreman, I've got to sort it all out. What's that top one? The kidney beans want expanded restroom capacity. But I don't even have the figures about how many of them there are. I thought it was written here somewhere. Could you just go out and count them? Yes, I suppose I'll have to do that. Well, no time like the present. A tan hut.
All right, let's see. One, two, three. All right, as you were. Hey, look over there, what their sign says. Kidney beans are best. Hey, they do like us after all. Look what their sign says, over there. Jelly beans rule. Hey, they like us! They really like us! <laughs> Why, I'll be. They're... they're working. I saw what you did over there. That was pretty clever. Thanks. And it helped me get down. Thank goodness. But Jim and Sam always helps those in need. You're a real hero. Well, I'd stay in chat, but I'm late for the peace conference. Bye now. See ya. That's two down, two to go. Ticket. I heard it sells Cyrus now. You can have it if you want. What are these shapes marked on it? That's the route I always take when I go skiing. Oh. has got everything. <laughs> A box top. <laughs> These shapes show the route that plumber took. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing. I'll need... I'll need... 
some ski. Oh, bo I've already got some ski. I wonder if it'll stick to my head. I'm pretty sure that won't work. Pretty sure that won't work. I don't think that will do much good. That's not gonna do me any good. What do you think of this plunger? Hey, a plunger! Look, gentlemen! This young man is a member of the Loyal Order of Plumbers. Well, what do you know? Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Yeah, it's always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam. It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Okay, thanks. Is that a Pajama Man lunchbox? No, this is the RX-1000 food suspender. The Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed, and it has a nitrogen-based temperature regulator. That's pretty fancy for a lunchbox. Oh, it has to be. Inside, perfectly preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made. Really? I love cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese do you use? Munster, of course. It's the best for cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Sounds delicious. Do you think I could use that wrench for a while? Sure, Sam. Yes, we're all plumbers here. Thanks. Here's another box top. Another box top. I wonder what 
this does. The clog is gone at least. I need to find a spare that looks like the clogged one. Is fixed, I'll bet the water will flow better. I think it's all set once the water's turned back. There, that should do it. Aha, uh -huh. I've got it. Now we can finally relax. So guys, what's up? We were just talking about rubber gaskets. Oh boy! Now that I've got now, 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 it's all, I just all working okay now. I don't think that will do much good. If you're not using that big plunger right now, would you like to trade me for a while? Why sure, I guess that'd be alright. for years, so I'm used to it. It won't reach that far. I wonder how the carrot is doing with that crazy general.
Chow. A box top. I don't want to get into trouble. Um, look, a sweet potato. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh, uh Gord. I'm Gord. Mr. Gord. Very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the Well wait a minute. It's Gord's only, right? Yes, and he's a gourd, so I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Aha! This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. I bet I could see all the way around the world with this thing. Monterey Jack. The moon is made of Monterey Jack cheese. Monterey Jack. Neat. A box top. I think this makes 20. Don't touch that. Okay. That is the fabled horn of celebration. It is blown only when I reach the answer to a question I have been pondering. I see. That horn looks pretty loud. Oh, it is. I like it a lot. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus, the Sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I am considering the nature of cheese. Ooh, I like cheese. Well then, perhaps you will be able to help me find the answer to the great three-part question of the nature of cheese. What are the three parts of the question? First, I must know which fork at the table is the cheese fork. Hey, I know that one. The cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. It is elegant in its simplicity. Well then, let us move on. The second part of the question is this. What sort of cheese is the moon made of? Oh boy, that's easy. I saw it through the telescope. It's Monterey Jack. Amazing, a telescope. Why didn't I think of that? The last part is perhaps the most important. What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know. The plumber told me Munster cheese is the best. Of course. Plumbers are renowned for their excellence. 
excellent taste in cheese sandwiches. Well, this is fabulous. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now, for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy, would I? Again. Wow. Say, kid, you really helped me out of a jam there. I parachuted in to go to the peace conference, but got stuck up there on that ledge. Now I can go do my part. What's your name, kid? I'm Pajama Sam. Are you one of the delegates? That's right. I'm Chuck Cheddar, Cheese, Cheese of Adventure. Adventure. I'd love to stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that conference. Bye! Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody, break time! I think that's all the delegates. I'd better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead. Shrub. Entree. Loaf. Pabulum. Grub. Mercel. Gobbit. Tidbit. Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting. This means war! No. No, it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say for it. Mmm. Cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mmm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? No? Better? Sure, like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kid's got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Cooperation? Why this means... Means I'm... Um... Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh, I forgot.
want to leave?